Hi there, it's Grandma Lori. Today's story is the paintings. Young Yi lived in a large city in the country of South Korea, nestled between tall skyscrapers and traditional Korean homes. Young Yi's world was a combination of the hustle and bustle of the street markets, the laughter from the rooftop kimchi making sessions, and hushed whispers of the folk tales her grandmother would share when they walked. Her favorite thing was when she could find some quiet time to work on her paintings. Years ago, her grandmother taught her how to paint in the traditional Korean style, using silk instead of canvas. She would sit in her attic, looking out the window at the city, and paint. One day, she was painting in the attic when she dropped her brush. Doggone it, she said under her breath. She dropped down to find where it had rolled. A book dropped out as she worked her way through all the boxes in her grandmother's attic. She opened it to find that it was her grandmother's diary from years and years ago. There were also paintings of things Myung-Yi had never seen before. The paintbrush was forgotten as Myung-Yi continued to read page after page. It was fascinating. It told of a house her grandmother lived in that wasn't very far from where they live now. I wonder if it's still there, Myung-Yi thought to herself. She decided she needed to find that house. The descriptions in the diary were so clear she could imagine standing in front of the paintings that came from the drawings. She put on her shoes and set out to find the house. Myung Yi took a bus to the edge of the city. It didn't take her long. She got off and w- started walking in the woods. She went further and further, and the woods were getting darker and darker, even though the city had bright daylight. What was that? She cried as something made a noise in the woods. She hid for a second to make sure it wasn't anything that could hurt her. Her grandmother had told her so many stories from the old days that she wasn't sure which was true and which was made up. Didn't take long to find the house, using her grandmother's diary as a guide. She had never been there before, but somehow it felt familiar. As she neared the house, she saw it was falling apart. A large crack along the front of the house ran from the roof to the ground. When did this happen? Young Yi thought. She'd have to ask her grandmother when she returned. Myung Yi carefully picked her way through the overgrown grass toward the front door. The door was hanging on its hinges so she could just push it open. The house was dark, as could be expected. She walked through what would have been the living room, then the kitchen, until she opened the furthest door to find a wonderful sight. It was a room filled with paintings on silk, traditional Korean paintings, like the ones Myung Yi was learning. They were so beautiful, they took her breath away. She stood in front of the paintings for what seemed like a lifetime. A noise brought her out of her daze, and she turned to find her grandmother standing behind her. Hamoni, which is the Korean word for grandmother. These are your paintings, aren't they? Myung Yi asked. They are. I haven't seen them in ages, her grandmother said. But why are you here? I found your diary in the attic and thought it would be wonderful to find these, said Myung Yi. When did you do these? Before the earthquake. That's why I moved in with your mother and father. An earthquake hit and cracked the house almost in two, grandmother said. As a matter of fact, it's not safe in here, so we'd better head back. Not without the paintings, Myung Yi said. She started taking the paintings down and rolled them around the wooden poles they were hung on. Her grandmother helped, and before long, they had ten paintings ready to carry out of the woods. As they walked back to where the bus would pick them up, Myung Yi and her grandmother talked about what happened during the earthquake and why her grandmother had stopped painting. By the time they got home, Myung Yi and her grandmother were very tired. They laid the paintings in the attic and both went to take naps. From that day on, Myung Yi and her grandmother would paint together in the attic every day. At first, her grandmother was a bit rusty, but the more she painted, the more comfortable she became with her old craft. Myung Yi learned a lot as she painted by her grandmother's side. This is Grandma Lori. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the story.